When a royal thoroughbred and triple crown winner arrives by a special 747 and gets a police escort up the highway to visit you, you tidy up the place a little. We've probably spent two, three hundred thousand on capital improvements or upgrades, things that we were planning, but maybe not to do this year. American Pharaoh's got a two length lead. But this year is unlike any other with American Pharaoh Racing Sunday and Monmouth Park's 48th Haskell Invitational. So Monmouth has added picnic areas, it's rented off site parking lots, added dozens of bedding machines, installed $40,000 worth of new TVs, and hired 20 painters instead of three to spruce up the buildings. It's nearly doubled the million dollar stakes to $1,750,000 for an event likely to draw more than 60,000 fans and break the New Jersey attendance record for 2007's Breeders' Cup here. So this is just uh, the Breeders' Cup on steroids. With horse racing's first Triple Crown winner in 37 years coming here, this has turned into a mega marketing moment, not just for Monmouth Park, but for Monmouth County as well. The park has turned this year's Haskell from a one-day to a three-day event, calling it the Farrell Fan Festival. I guess all third-grade teachers will be a little upset with our spelling. Absolutely, we feel the impact of American Farrow and the, and the Haskell for this Sunday. But um, we are telling people, too, there are still some rooms available. Sal Giorgio is a sales manager of Sheraton Eatontown and works in admissions at Monmouth Park. He says Jersey Shore hotels and restaurants usually do well on summer Fridays and Saturdays, but racing fans race to book rooms when American Farrell's New Jersey owner said he'd run into Haskell. It's going to be an exciting weekend. Haskell is always a great weekend. It's always a lot of fun, always a big crowd, um, but this obviously is bigger and better than, than you know, anything. Some estimate American Farrell will add some $20 million to the Shore's economy this weekend. Freeholder Tom Arnone seems to be among the believers. We needed this. This was great for, for the community, it's great for the county, and it's great for all the businesses in this, that surround this area. And quite frankly, because of the popularity, it's even expanded to outside the, uh, the shore area. Arnone encourages racing fans and beachgoers to ride share this weekend, even though New Jersey Transit plans to add trains for an event that has wider implications than who crosses the wire first. This is definitely more than horse race. This is making a statement, one, for all the critics that horse racing is dead. No, it's not dead. We, we have to do a better job repackaging it, rebranding it, remarking it, and I think American Farrell allows us the opportunity to do this. You know, my crystal ball was right. Monmouth Park advisor Dennis Drazen predicted all this, that American Farrell would win the Triple Crown and would race in the Haskell. Now, another prediction. You know, when I was a kid and other people around here saw the great champions of the past, you know, we still talk about remember when Secretariat ran, remember when Seattle Slough ran, and the younger generation of today is going to be saying, gee, I was at Monmouth Park when American Pharoah ran, and this is going to give us the lifeblood that we need to continue horse racing into the future. For now, it's hard to harness the Haskell and American Pharoah excitement. In Oceanport, Michael Hill, NJTV News.